guys welcome to the Ashranga channel hope today meets you well we are happy to be back once more and for us here in the UK it's a bank holiday and we're really having fun yes um just a little thing to let you know the house is doing very well it's progressing and um we are looking forward to relocating and today I did a little bit of shopping for the house for the <laughs> for the house okay a little bit for myself and um, a little bit of cooking and he went to the gym the boss went to the gym <laughs> yeah okay today Kingsley and I will be covering how to select the right AC installer for your property in Ghana that's what we are doing at the moment because it's really hot of and um, you know sometimes when you use the fan sometimes it blows hot air and um, yeah, you want to have an AC to cool it down for you mm. and we want to make sure that it's installed properly and we want to make sure that we get the right person to do the job mm -hmm. and that's where we're at right now and you know you have to do it right otherwise it's going to be a waste of money yep. we don't want that especially we are here and you know we're not there we don't know what's going on just that we trust some people to look out for the property for us so if you happen to be away from you know to be the diaspora west you're building, building your property i think it's very important that you find a way if you have somebody looking over it for you to make sure that they get the right installer for you and these are the things that we looked out for yes there are a few cowboy a few cowboys in the market so you have to <laughs> make sure you get the right one yeah right so these are the things i just go through the list for you okay so the first thing is finding the ac expert to cost for the project meaning that you want to know how much the project will cost so you have to get the right guy so the person will not under cost over over cost you know so it's very important because they will go through all that he's very detailed <laughs> and the second one is evaluating the quotations financially you need to know that you know is right for you you know everybody's on a budget we are on a budget we don't want to leave this property halfway done you know so it's important and again evaluating the individual technically is very important yeah. they have the technical know-how they understand what they're doing you know if they're experienced what have you done before what did you mm. do I and mean, um, who did it I mean, who did you work under we asked I had kids asking all those questions like um, this particular guy he asked him a few questions like who managed the project for you what company did you work for and all that so that for me was a bit of uh, learning as well and then you need to interview them informally he's very good at that <laughs> yeah so after you've interviewed these people informally obviously you have you have to have um, a few people to talk to you don't just settle on one one person yeah we had quite a few we talked to so after the, after you've done all that then you come to a conclusion that is the final stage you have to make a final decision on you know on who will do the project carry on the project for you you have to be comfortable in your heart that that's the right person after you know the person has satisfied all your curiosity and your questions okay so Kingsley do you want to talk us through how you went how you did that you do yeah well guys I would like to thank you we would like to thank you actually for you know watching our videos for your comments for your likes for everything we really appreciate your questions you know it's very interactive and we are really happy we're really happy doing what we're doing because it's an adventure it's quite exciting for us and um, sometimes your heart beats when you're doing it as well so yeah, yeah it's really fun so if this is your first time of watching this please i mean coming across this channel could you please like share subscribe and also hit the notification button like that <laughs> so that you get an update whenever we post a video for you okay so guys thank you so much so let's keep rolling kingsley right good so air conditioning air conditioning is uh, obviously clearly important when you step onto the step out of the plane in ghana you enter into an oven hot baking <laughs> oven so the air conditioning is absolutely vital finding the the the, the ac experts to cost or quote for your job is your first stage uh, and typically as most things in ghana work with recommendations um just ask for recommendations yeah. as as them um, who is good at installing air conditioning there are quite a few people out there so you get the recommendations then you have to evaluate them we um we had three 
guys who we went out to one from the builder one from a, a friend and one from another friend who is one from a friend who's built in the past and then one from another friend who is uh, building now so that was three different people we went out to um, they or one thing about Ghana is when you ask somebody to quote uh, you give them the drawing because I've done a draw, I've done all my my electrical and air conditioning drawings you give them the drawing that shows them this is this is the this is the house this is where the structure this is where all the AC units are they still insist they want to go to site <laughs> just <laughs> beyond me okay just go to site and see they want to see the house for themselves Aww. which I mean in, in the UK people don't necessarily need to come to your house if you if they want to do an installation or fix something as long as they've got a drawing they can do it contractors can do it but people but the Ghana they want to always go to site um, I have I understand I understand some to some extent they want to see what the site is like and the challenges that the site may have it's fair enough but sometimes they go to site and when they see the extent of house you're building and if they know you're living in the inner diaspora then that's when the cost starts <laughs> shooting up I know <sighs> so this is what, what 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 can be annoying but bear in mind they always want to go to site so I don't think there's anything you can do about that so we received sorry do you think that's why they want to go to site or not it's it's, it's um I don't think it's the main reason. I think it's the main reason is they want to see the structure of the building and assess any challenges that they may have. Right. If they were to win the job and how. And they not see that on the drawing. To some extent, but uh, to some extent, but seeing is believing and seeing it, seeing the structure right. itself is it will, will you know close out any questions they may have right. in their mind. Okay. So that's absolutely right. Thank you. So we received the three costs or the three quotations as, as we talked about. Um, and uh, knowing, being a building services engineer myself, I know exactly what I what I'm looking for technically. Mm. I know exactly what should be on the quotations, uh, so therefore I can evaluate the quotations to, to to against what I know should be on there to make sure they've got the correct uh, items on there and everything has been accounted for. Mm. So basically, what what items would you be looking out for? What you say? I'd be looking out for. Um, we're gonna we're gonna see. Okay. On, on, I'm gonna show the quotations in a minute, right. so you're, you're going to see that. Yeah. And as as Chris just said, up on your screen right now, um, we received three quotations. I'm gonna go through the first quotation. The first quotation we received was from a chap called Sharif. Okay, and um, essentially, you can see that um, you can see his quotation has got a total material and transport cost of about 13,130 Ghana cities labor cost of 3,500 Ghana cities giving you a total of 16,630 Ghana cities okay and you can see some of the items that are listed on there you've got the Amaflex I'll, just, I'll, I'll talk about what that is later on and that's some of the things I will look for Amaflex copper pipe flexible copper pipe the, the electrical cable um, uh, gas to use for the testing these are some of the things that I look out for and thankfully Sheriff has have shown has shown all that okay, okay which is great um, the next quotation coming up on your screen is um, one from a guy called Akwesi where he had a material and a transport cost of 14,950 Ghana cities, labor cost of 4,000 Ghana cities, giving him a grand total of 18,950 Ghana cities. Okay, then we go with the third, third uh, quotation that was from a chap called Israel. Okay, Israel, and he came up with a rather cheaper materials and, and transport cost of 9,095. Ghana City so that initially raised a few a few eyebrows if you like from me uh, then you had the labor cost of 5,000 Ghana cities giving him a grand total of 14,095 Ghana cities going to start so guys you can see that um, clearly there are some differences in the three quotations that I've just brought across your screen. Um, Israel is 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 the lowest, which um, it may not necessarily be a good thing. It could mean that he's he's cheap or he's missed a few items. But uh, Kwesi and Sheriff are 
a little bit closer but they, they are comparable and it's funny they've all been to the same house seen the same drawings and attended the site and given a quotation but you can see that there are some differences mm -hmm. in all three so to shed more light on Crystal's question I bring back Sheriff's quotation to the screen you can see we've got various sizes of copper pipes now the copper pipes connects the indoor unit to the outdoor unit mm. in air conditioning as you know there's always a unit inside the inside the house mm -hmm. and then one outside hanging yeah. on the wall yeah there are copper pipes which connect the two of them right. and they're of different sizes is there any particular reason that the copper pipe is used yes the copper pipe is used is because there's a fluid that flows through the copper pipe which picks right. up the heat from that, inside the house right. and then takes right. the heat outside that's why it drips out water from outside from outside is exactly right. yeah, oh, okay. exactly come ex explain that yeah mm. so what so the um yes and there are various sizes of copper pipes depending on the u ac units you actually install there's five a's there's one quarter etc then you've got you can see that on sherry's quotation then you've got the armaflex now the armaflex uh again i've got a picture of the armaflex on your screen okay the armaflex is like a black rubbery substance which goes around the copper pipe and the idea of that armaflex is to provide insulation okay yeah. what do i mean by insulation insulation basically maintains the temperature of um, the fluid within the copper mm -hmm. right? so if the fluid is cold you want it to remain cold mm -hmm. you don't want it to pick up heat because mm -hmm. it's supposed to because it's supposed to be cold so the armaflex mm -hmm. gives you the insulation which is wrapped mm -hmm. around the copper pipe before you put the armaflex and the copper pipe in the wall mm -hmm. before you before you plaster mm -hmm. yeah so it's very important if you don't have the armaflex then as the cold fluid is going through the pipe it will pick up heat from the house or the outside and it will not work very e effectively mm -hmm. So that's, and there are various sizes of armaflexes as well, as you can see. Um, then you've got the electrical cable because the air conditioning cannot work without electricity. So Sheriff has allowed a 4 mil by 4 electrical cable. Then you've got the conduit flex, which is, uh, again, it's, it's, uh, it's if, if you like a containment or an insulation itself that the electrical cables are fitted into. Then you've got the PVC pipe. Now, you mentioned something about water dripping yeah. is actually from the outside unit oh. the outside unit is called the condenser right. and as your air conditioning is working you get drips of water from the outside unit going down and that's called the con condensate mm. so sometimes people collect you collect you connect the pvc pipe from the outside unit all the way down to the ground to drip into your right. drainage system those are the drips that's called the condensate um has it got anything to do with the copper you mentioned so different no it's different copper. the copper actually has the fluid in it, the refrigerant, is called. Oh, okay. But the but the but the PVC pipe connecting the outdoor unit to the to the drainage right. is condensate. That's pure water. Oh, okay. R is it drinkable? Not drinkable. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, no, not drinkable. People, but people, people can use it to water some plants, oh, flowers okay. oh, be right. below. Obviously, it's not really a lot. It's just a yeah, little, little, little yeah. drips. Yeah, little drips. Yeah, little drips. Exactly. Then you've got the duct tape. Uh, plumbing glue. The duct tape is used. The Amaflex that I showed you earlier on, it comes in one and a half meter length sections. Mm -hmm. But if you have a copper pipe that's longer, they're going to be longer. You have to have a number of sections that you put together when they go mm -hmm. around the pipe, copper pipe. Mm -hmm. So they use tape to tape the the joints mm -hmm. when they put two one and a half meter sections mm -hmm. together. That's what the duct tape is for. Cutting this, you know, for cutting the copper pipe. Copper rod is for a little bit of welding that they need to do at the end of the copper pipe. Mm -hmm. Um charging valve is to charge the gas then uh, sheriff allowed gas which i'm very very happy about basically the gas on sheriff's quotation is after he's finished the installation indoor unit out and he puts all the copper pipes in he's going to use gas he's going to, he's going to pass gas hydrogen gas or nitrogen gas he's going to pass gas through all the pipes to make sure there's no leakages mm -hmm. which is great Mm -hmm. which is good because you know manufacturers can manufacture pipes and they can make mistakes they can be holes right. so when he passes through the gas it's like a test yeah. if there's no leakage and he knows that yes it's okay it's okay right. yeah exactly and then there's a trans transportation for materials that he's allowed for and then obviously his labor given his grand total of 16,630 Ghana cities as you can see so that is the, the explanation of, of the items that I use in the air conditioning um, now, I'm coming up on your screen. I've sort of summarized all the three quotations from Sheriff Akwesi and Israel, um, and straight away, I have to admit, we um, after looking at Israel's quotation, we disqualified him. 
Mm. Yes, we, did, we didn't go any further. The reason why we didn't go any further is he, his quotation didn't seem detailed enough. Mm. You know, he put Amaflex there, but he didn't say what size it, what size it was. Is it 3 mm. eight? Is it 1 quarter? Is it 5 eight? They come in various sizes. Mm. He put copper pipes, but again, he didn't say what size it is. Right. Come in various sizes. And each size has a price. Mm. So you can't just put Amaflex and put a lump sum without breaking it down. Right. Because what happens is, if you accept that, later on down the line, he'll tell you, oh, sorry, master, boss, I forgot X, Y, Z. Yeah. And you have to fork out more money. Mm. So I'd, I'd rather have it right from day one. Day one. Okay. Yeah. So we, 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 dis we have to disqualify Israel, unfortunately. So then we had um, Sharif and uh, Akwesi left, who we needed to evaluate a bit more in depth financially and technically. So what I'm going to bring up on your screen right now is an Excel spreadsheet where I evaluated their quotations financially. So I bring that up onto your screen now. Just bear with me. Okay, guys. Hopefully you can all see my laptop screen so this is my financial evaluation spreadsheet where i evaluated a uh, sheriff against Aquesi. basically so taking each item hopefully you can see my, my mouse on the screen i think you can um so five eight copper pipe the is a coil okay um sheriff allowed i typically do like sheriff allowed six coils Aquesi allowed five there's a difference of one that's uh, Sherry's price 350 Ghana cities. Kwesi is 380, difference of 30. The total amount here of 2100 Ghana cities for Sheriff and 1900 Ghana cities for Akwesi. So basically, for each and every item on the quote on their quotations, I look at each of them row by row what each of each of allowed for the unit price and the total price. You can see all the various armor flexes we talked about and their various sizes. All the quantities sheriff allowed 48 and Akwesi allowed 40. So that is that that is a point of 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 um questioning. Okay, so then I question them and I say, Oh, I, I speak to Akwesi. Well, I've got another quotation that has allowed 48. You've only allowed 40. Are you really sure that you've assessed this uh, properly? Guys, don't forget that it's absolutely okay to tell the, the guys who are quoting for the job that there are other people involved quoting as well. So that so that they can submit the most competitive price to you, okay, and uh, at a local rate as well, not at diaspora rates, but at local rates, okay. So you got all the armor flex. I compared all of them as well. Electrical cable, conduit flex, PVC pen bending pipe, you know, cutting disc, glue, duct tape. Compared both Aquesi and uh, Sheriff, the different quantities and and so the difference between them and the total amounts, and also. I realized here quite quite interestingly that when it comes to the gas, the gas for testing, which I described earlier on, that only Sharif allowed for the testing. Okay, so he allowed a good 300 Ghana cities for testing, but Akwesi did not allow anything at all for the gas. He didn't allow anything at all, nothing. And uh, so that is a point of, of questioning to Akwesi, and depending on his answer, that can you know allow you all of this is to help you to make your decision then obviously you've got transportation materials they they all allowed oh in fact transportation of materials only sheriff allowed 400 Ghana cities Aquisi didn't allow anything at all so another point of questioning when you speak to them so in this comparison I can see that how each of them have it, have assessed the project and just to make sure who has made the right assessment overall and then you've got you then you obviously got the total at the bottom now bear in mind from the numbers that i showed earlier and there was a little bit of negotiation before i did this so sherry's, num sherry's number came down to about sixteen thousand seven hundred and seventy seven ghana cities with um sherry's number being so acquisition number being eighteen thousand one hundred and twenty Ghana cities okay so that's the um, financial evaluation spreadsheet so financial evaluation done now to the technical evaluation and I I give them I give them a call I give them both a call and uh, 
if you like interview them you know they're tendering for my my project so I need to speak to them to see if they if they really understand what they're doing now this is not a rigid interview this is just a normal conversation thing you know nice and informal chilled out chilled out like yeah. yeah and they understand it they understand that you know you're spending money you want to make sure that you get the value for your money so here's a couple of questions to help you out if you decide to do the same thing um so initially i asked both of them in terms of your copper, copper pipe are you going to use a hard cup hard pipe or are you going to use a flexible pipe okay and um i think um sheriff said he'll use a flexible pipe and the other guy said um his pipe is is a bit hard but he may use fire to bend it here and there if he needs to mm, okay interesting fine then i asked i, I posed another question to them i said okay imagine if you've you're going to install some copper pipe of a certain length and when you got to site you realize that the length was too short what would you do sheriff said oh too bad unfortunately i'd have to, I'd have to change the copper pipe and make sure i measure correctly on site get the right length of site and then buy the copper pipe that is at least that same length or longer mm. okay whereas Aquisi said oh, if it's too short no problems we'll just we we'll just we we'll just weld the two together <laughs> <laughs> you know but you know I don't like welding you know, once you create a joint mm. you create a weak point mm. you know it's like two pipes coming together and you weld it together that welding point that point of welding is a weak point which mm. can cause you problems in the future you see so um, I didn't really like his response there at all you know don't weld no welding what you want tell your AC guy your LC guy needs to go to site you need to measure correctly the correct length and buy the flexible copper pipe that is the correct length or longer there's no problem with cutting there's no problem in cutting back but if it's too short we don't want to join mm. okay so that wasn't a very good answer for my question then i asked him the, the, the gas question sheriff is allowed for gas when to test to make sure when he's got everything set up make sure nothing is leaking test and that was i love that then i asked a question well you know why, why have you, you haven't got any gas he said oh we make sure we, we buy our, our, our copper cables from the top quality manufacturers and you know i've been working for 20 20 odd years and i've never had any leaks any leaks or anything like that so there's no need really i said okay that's that, that that's fine but um manufacturers do make mistakes uh as as an engineer even with the electrical electrical cables which we, we still do a test on them before we start using them so again an okay response but not the best you guys you want the best for your property you're mm -hmm. spending money if you want the best mm -hmm. so really after after all those technical questions and financial analysis sheriff won the project you know sheriff won the project technically he was on point you know and happily he was he was cheaper but obviously that, that's not necessarily the case you could get somebody who is technically on point and more experienced but more expensive Mm. But it depends on how much more expensive, mm. you know, you want the best for it. So if it's like a thousand or two thousand more expensive, maybe it, it, you still go for that person mm. because the other guy may be cheaper, but not really knowing what he's doing. Yeah, I think it's actually, you know, kind of like this. If you keep looking for cheap items or cheap services when you're building a property, you know, the looking for cheap items shouldn't even come in because yeah. you're kind of querying your head. Why is it that cheap? Yeah. Value for money is what you want. What you want? Yeah, really. value for money. So exactly. if if it's expensive, I mean, I wouldn't say very expensive, but I I feel a bit more comfortable if it's a little bit cost costlier. Oh, yeah, depends. Cost, depend. it's cost <laughs> effect, cost effective. Yeah. You no, know, I mean not. I don't know if I'm yeah. passing the message correctly, but yeah. you don't really want it to be very cheap. Oh yes, true. that's yeah. what you mean. Yeah. But if it's like a little bit high, yes. it makes sense. Then you want to look into it to look, um, mm. understand whether you're being ripped off. Exactly, or not. exactly. Which yeah. is why you get two or three quotations and compare yeah. and compare. So in terms of uh, in terms of the sheriff guy, you know, he I mean he even gave me advice more advice on the Ghanaian market in terms of the the AC units that are available. He, he added he added value to me. Okay, mm. and and I was like, oh yes, fantastic. You know, he added value. And obviously, financially well priced, so they're great. But even so, don't forget, this is Africa, this is Ghana. You always negotiate. Yeah. It is standard it's very practice. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Standard practice in Ghana. You need it, especially if you are diaspora, mm. for obvious reasons. Okay. If you're not sure, you could go with someone who knows a little bit more. Yeah. 
Yeah, to beat it down. Or let somebody else talk uh, talk on your behalf, behalf for now. Yeah. If you if you have somebody to trust, but yeah. um, like I said, um, you know, especially for diaspora, and then you, you need to know you need to negotiate. Make sure yeah. you're paying a fair price. But don't know? be put off by the high cost. If they give you kind of a cost that is so high, don't be put off. Exactly. Just have at the back of your mind that you can also beat it down. To exactly. You want to. And and typically, if you go for two or three quotes, um, they're not all going to be sky high. You see, maybe out of the three, one that it's an oddball, and the other two are, are mm. yes. So, so you get you get <laughs> yeah. a feel of what the right price should be. Yeah, I think that like you should have to go to a couple of people, one or two people, mm -hmm. they have the the idea. Yes, exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. And like I said already, when you when they are bidding for your project for your mm. house build, let them know that there are other people also bidding. Mm. So let them know that they're not you're, you're not the only one submitting a cost. Somebody else is submitting a cost. It's competition. That's competition. <laughs> so give me a competitive price, and yeah. hopefully that will that will hopefully trigger in their mind that then they got to give you the right fair price, mm -hmm. and not um not shoot up because you are in yeah. America or in the US or in Austria or whatever wherever you are really. So um so yeah so so Sharif won the day really, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So um, all right. So yeah. So hi guys. I hope Kingsley explained it all for you. I hope you got something from what he said. Yeah. I hope I, so. Yeah. But if you've got any questions, please just put your questions down. In the comments below, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah, he will be able to answer the questions. I haven't got much to put in here. It's not my field. <laughs> He's got yes. the answers. Yes, your dentalness, your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so guys, so today um, we discussed um, on how to find the AC experts to quote for your project. Okay, I hope you got that. And then we talked about evaluating the quotations financially. And then we talked about evaluating the individuals technically. Like Insti talked us through how he spoke to the guys. We need to understand what they were saying, what they were going to put in there, the materials they would use. And he was happy and made his choice. And he, there was a lot of um, elimination based on what he was looking for. Mm -hmm. And that you really need to do. And then... There was um, an informal interviewing which he did. He was kind of very uh, relaxed, yeah. you know, because I heard him, overheard him. You know, he was chatting with them. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, it was it was quite cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know, quite cool. cool. But, you know, they laughed, but then he really got what he wanted yes, exactly. out of it. Exactly. And then be sure that you're making the right decision. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Because you're gonna live in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's your property. Exactly. Yeah. I hope you yeah. enjoyed today's program. I've come to the end of today's program on what do we talk about today today how to, how to select the right air conditioning installer but guys just just before we go we will have a couple more videos coming out on air conditioning uh, there will be another video which talks about um, the, the, the types of air conditioning systems in Ghana or units in Ghana and actually we'll, we'll take you through the actual installation in our building when when that happens as well so stay stay tuned for that yes so guys so thank you so much for being with us and if this is your first time of coming to this channel I believe you didn't come here by accident yes absolutely. maybe you did we don't know hopefully you got something from it so please like share subscribe and please hit the notification button so that you know where we, know where we up, um, upload um, a new program yes. for you exactly okay exactly, exactly fantastic fantastic well that's a wrap it sounds like it he's a wrap awesome awesome <laughs> awesome so from you it's okay, guys you take care and we will see you on another